You made it. Welcome back, you BEA beautiful souls. Thank you so much for tuning into the stream today on YouTube and Twitch. You guys are BEA beautiful. Thank you for the lurkers and hanging out with me today. But today's video, we're going to be going over a bunch of stuff, a lot of great stuff. Warden's rework, Highlander's rework, a bunch of nerfs, new maps, and the skin for Peacekeeper, which is going to be Exio or Zestio, as many people would be saying right now. It looks pretty good in my opinion. He's got some really nice hip sway. So if you like that, you like that action, you're going to love this skin. I think a lot of people are going to be happy with it. The Assassin's Creed skin looks amazing. Great throwback. But uh, there will be some highlight clips for the stream and also a small discussion or just going over some of the changes since I don't want to really, I don't want you guys to listen to the entire uh, the dev team just talking about it 24 7. Even though I know you guys love JC's jacket, um, we're just going to try to make it quick and as short as possible. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy what I do here, leave me a like, leave a comment, and all that good stuff. Appreciate all the love. See you guys later. What we've done is we've given him new follow ups to Shoulder Bash. Max, you can play the, the video and then I'll explain as we go. So essentially, what we've done oh. is uh, on left and right uh, light attacks after Shoulder oh, Bash, what? and then on all the heavies and as well as on zone attack. We've given them oh. all, and, and Top Light also does it. Holy but the, shit! All these attacks that I have listed that are listed here. I mean, that looks. I knew that was. I knew it was in the trailer. It was we awesome. Took the opportunity there as well to make sure we did more Wait, half sorting whoa. stuff. I know it's a yeah. big, big whoa. request in the community whoa. to have half sorting attacks. Wait, they just changed the entire animation. Going nuts, so that's great. Uh, There's no so more. We've adjusted this, but at the same time, we wanted to keep Warren playing the same. So it's the same inputs. Everything oh my god! The same. The damage is the same. Recoveries, timings, everything. The is The right same, one is a different, different animation. The left one. Because we wanted to make sure that because these have uninterruptible stance. Oh um, my god, they need dude! To be different than the attacks from neutral because it's not always clear otherwise. Are I don't you, know about the chain to top one, heavy though. Shoulder bash. Yeah. I like the neutral heavy. It, it was satisfying. Get armor here and there. So mm -hmm. we, it's kind of like it's a whole package here for this. And the reason why we did this, which is also quite important, I like that the left and right Warden light attacks are different animations. Fights, uh, so badass. Where you couldn't really throw a shoulder bash because you would get peeled constantly. I need to rewatch this very, very quickly. So with this, you actually are a lot more solid. It's solid. Basically, that's me. Like He's calling me out. Peels, solid soul. But it makes the hero much stronger. It I love you, TJC. Has literally no effect. But that's give me okay. more early access. It's really specifically for and free steel. fights um, and making sure you're gonna be good because you don't. Chain on miss. Oh my god. The effect that if you dodge attack him, if you go into a guard break, that is happens. crazy. I think really I'm gonna nut. Focus on his <laughs> um, I'm busting. The change that we're doing now for Warden. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna to come. What else are we going to be able to, like, to, to, do to make this a little bit better? Um, but that's like uh, let's step get serious one, here. Right? Uh, it's one of those things it's that we're trying here, to guys. go like a little bit more like step by step. Oh, you're coming too, Rugga? Me too. Everything all at once uh, and see where heroes end up. I was very, very successful with Warlord in the past. As no, you shut up, Concold. We did small <laughs> incremental buffs almost every patch, and we got somewhere. I'm not saying there's going to be new buffs coming to Warlord in the next patch, but it's just <laughs> it's an approach to trying to take a little bit sometimes where you do like <laughs> incrementally and see where things end up and readjust to get the heroes where shut they up, need to be in a better position. Right. This is my moment. For Warden. My right. turn. Then it's my time to shine. Then we have another slide, right? So uh, there's more slides. Now. I'm the main character here, guys. Don't uh, forget that. Which is a bit of a nerf to some heroes, but okay. let's talk about I'm it. the main character. Backstep attacks, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, whoa, you can no longer whoa, backstep whoa, whoa. your like, openers with these heroes. So whoa. Lord, Val, Kyoshin, Ephira, yes. DP, Ranjin, and Highlander. Fuck you specifically. So like, mm, that's a weird Fuck you specifically. It's very eclectic. Right here. It's very eclectic, right? Yeah, Badge guard. Besides a bunch of them having shield, too. right? Um, one too. The idea here is these are all superior block. Honestly, everyone else is up. Okay. Mm -hmm. All education is pretty annoying, too. Right. Warden is not in here because he already could not backstep his top light. Right. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, but the, th the thing here is that we've removed the ability uh, to backstep. So even if you're holding like down, go, you're dude. Back, you to walk back, walk when you're praying, you're, when you're pressing light. Let's go. You will just not walk backwards. It'll be as if you're walking forward or being neutral. You're still going to be going, going forward. Good. So the reason why we're doing this is this was a very, very potent option select against opponents. Because what you could do with a lot of these heroes, especially like with you like Kyoshi. Chris Doucette? Are you, you related just, to like, Greg Doucette? And then. You see red, tap light. If it's a light, you'll crush and counter them, you'll beat them, good to go. If it's a heavy, you'll backstep far enough that the heavy is going to miss you, that things can miss you, and it made you way too safe for this. We're only focusing on these heroes the for now. Forever. We'll see how this affects what? other heroes. How <laughs> I don't affects think so. Nobody has some issues here where you can backstep your life into like... Still going to headbutt spammy and GB spammy. So we'll have to see if we do this on more heroes, if we do this on more attacks, 
but at least now for this we are so wins, back we are so back uh, boys it's a very nice change it affects Highlander too. That's kind of part of why we were, we were pushing this at the same time as the Highlander rework. Yeah. To make sure that things were kind of coming in line with this. I'm happy about this change. Uh, I'm glad they. It's a big thing here. It's a blanket uh, it's change important. to these characters. We, it's it's a request we've been getting from a lot of players for a long time. Now they delete. At least nerf these attacks. To be clear delete as well, this bitch. Uh, we've actually tried. I've no. tried myself like quite a bit to go. Can we keep the back step, but then not it be as bad and end up being worse because you would end up throwing unparable attacks instead. Which is something that we really, really don't want to have. Yeah, no, we did not. So, the more I was messing with them, the more it was either like we remove backstep, and yeah, it's you know it's a bit sad because you don't have that extra movement, but it created Correct. way worse issues. It would either you would become unparable or you would lose That's true, though, completely on your lights. Honestly, you they should just do that for forward. every character, not just a lot just of like encounters. other effect that it created. So it's the, the the simpler and the better solution is just remove backstep. Nice. Okay. Because right. Orochis so, and then we have. And Shinobis are very powerful because uh, they have dodge cancer recoveries on a couple afterwards. of different heroes, uh, but it's nerfs to some of the overperforming heroes. Uh, <gasps> yes! It's a first step here, again, just to make sure things are clear, but let's go through the uh, Shinobi. And so in this section, they are nerfing damage values for Shinobi and Afira. So her Red Moon is going to be her bash, so every time you get a heavy parry, uh, you used to get 18 damage guarantee with the undodgeable or the unblockable if there's no wall nearby. And they're just trying to nerf damage overall when it comes to getting heavy parries. So uh, it's, it's pretty in line with the rest of the cast. 16 damage. Uh, the only character that has a really strong heavy parry punish is going to be a Centurion right now. But they're probably going to nerf that eventually. Well, we'll see. Maybe in a year or so. But the Shinobi nerfs damage value is decreased by 2 uh, for every freaking attack. I mean, I, I think that's okay. But like that's not the, the most egregious thing about the character is the ganks it's really the ganks and the double dodges but uh, otherwise it's a good step they did say this is just the first step so they will be doing more with these characters heat carry has a little bit more gb vulnerabilities on our heavy openers that's not the problem you need to nerf the hyper armor remove the hyper armor and then she's fine in my honest opinion and then they would make the character a little bit more balanced because she's pretty annoying to fight against with all the hyper armor attacks i don't mind her too much but i know a lot of players in general it's just not a, a fun thing uh, to fight against uh, typically of course typically but uh i think these are pretty decent changes when it comes to these characters this is the first step hopefully we get more uh, shinobi did a pretty high damage when it comes to light attacks uh they they've been nerfing him when damage values a lot lately so uh hopefully they do just a little bit more when it comes to his entire kit same thing for afira when it comes to the wall splats but we'll have to wait and see for these nerfs, Orochi is also getting some adjustments, so is Berserker. As you can see here, they're nerfing just the damage value significantly. The zone is now 11 damage, and then of course you get the follow-up light, so it's just not going to be as much damage anymore. So that's great, because it was a really high damage punish. Uh, the side heavy finishers, they're going to be keeping the same speed to 700 ms, but they're lowering the damage by 2 to 28. Personally, I think I would have preferred just 800 ms heavy attacks with 30 damage because I don't know who decided to make him faster. He's already a super fast character. Storm Rush is going to be dealing 17 damage down for 20. Really good change. Um, yeah, I, th I thought of an idea that why don't we just make Storm Rush a light parry? It already has so much utility already with ganks and uh, being undodgeable, insane roll catcher, uh, and, and really fast too. Uh, pretty much unreactable to most people. Uh, if you're paying attention on PC, uh, you could probably parry 24-7, but that's where his kick mix-up comes in, and then he has a really good 50-50 from neutral. So I think that'd be interesting. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it, if uh, we should make it a light parry, because I think we should, because he's freaking reigning supreme 24-7. Um, a really, really good character. But Berserker, they're just doing damage value nerves. Side, I think the most important one is his side dodge lights, which is 13. There used to be 15. Pretty high, and now they're a little bit more in line with the rest of the cast when it comes to dodge attacks. I think Kensei has a 15 damage dodge attack too, but his is not as good as Berserker, obviously, because of the dodge cancel. So everything just kind of gets nerfed by uh, by two, and I think I'm okay with this change, but I think the biggest egregious thing is make sure that these characters don't have the ability to dodge cancel after a dodge attack. That's a really, I hope that's a simple fix for them and they can adjust it in the future, but that's really the only change that these two characters specifically need to make them a little bit more balanced and less, you know, egregious to fight. All right, so I'm going to quickly just go over and talk about the changes for Highlander. Uh, pretty much everything that he kept in the recent testing grounds uh, has been the same, and they didn't do too much of it, but there are a few changes as I will go over them. Of course, you can feint it and go into offensive stance now with the heavy feint mix-up. It's pretty sick. He still keeps that forward dodge caber toss, but they improved the tracking of it and the forward momentum, so that's really good. Uh, the kick is feintable. Caber toss can be accessed on the forward dodge. 
and uh, the dodge attack as well it's gonna be coming from like the same direction of where you dodge now so that's also a really cool new animation uh, they decrease the damage 14 damage now 600 ms and of course the offensive stance lights on all of them are going to be 400 ms so the top one used to be 500 but now it is 400 so it's gonna be really strong and of course they're gonna keep the damage values of what it was before for the heavy attack the offensive stance heavy is 26 okay some people want it to be like 27 28 a little bit higher but i think 26 is fine given how much um chain pressure he's actually going to have and they are removing his ability of course to go into a whiff light because you could backstab everything and be unparryable in that regard it was pretty freaking uh, cancerous uh, the superior opener, um, uh, the crushing counters are going to be 18 damage, used to be 20, and they are making it so that of course you're going to have a GB into a guaranteed top heavy, and to do that they had increased it to 800 MS, and it deals 24 damage, and then his side heavies are also being sped up as well uh, to 900 and they're gonna do 27 damage so you don't have to go into so when you get a light parry usually a highlander has to go into an offensive stance and then go right into an unblockable heavy attack and the timing it was like a skill curve thing where you had to learn how to you know get some good damage but now it's gonna be much easier to do and you are gonna get like 27 damage so it is better and you go right into your offensive stance light so it's good flow overall and go into 4ms freaking <laughs> light attacks and those things are gonna be pretty freaking good when it comes to 1v1 potential especially when they added in the feignable kick mix up which is gonna be freaking insane and just getting just having the ability to guard break someone and landing a 24 damage heavy because a lot of people try to dodge your offensive stance light attacks because they are unreactable really hard to to look at since the animations he has some tech with his uh, emotes as well it's gonna be freaking gnarly i'll tell you what he's gonna be really good and then the other change that they are uh, going to be doing is that his kick no longer drains stamina and no longer drains stamina for his caber toss as well caber toss is the most egregious one because it did take quite a bit of your stamina whereas the kick didn't do too much but i liked having the ability to do a light parry and then you can go to kick to do another uh, unblockable heavy attack and I think that was a really cool animation and it drained a little bit of stamina but you can still do it it's just you're not gonna be able to drain stamina anymore and that's totally okay I, I suppose but you could do some really silly stuff if you get a wall swipe with a kick you can use a caber toss drain a lot of stamina uh, but of course they get their stamina back but it's like a cool mix up to do uh, just no more stamina drain and that's that's fine with me that's fine with me uh, but that's basically all the changes for Highlander. He's just relatively the same as uh, Tyson Grounds 2 iteration, but uh, just a little bit more tweaks here and there. And I think this is a good change for Highlander. We're going to be eating pretty good, at least having a roll catcher. Well, Celticurse was already a pretty good roll catcher, but now we can faint the kick and bait out people who want to dodge roll, going to a Celticurse right afterwards. So solid changes overall. Of course, from Assassin's Creed. Yes. Uh, so super hyped. This will be a Peacekeeper hero skin. Uh, oh my god. You're hyped as well? Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, this is stabby, stabby yeah. everywhere. They stabby, just stabby, ripped it from, like, here. a exactly. different game and exactly. then just uh, lofted so in amazing. there. This is, of course, their iconic character <laughs> from Assassin's Creed This is funny. I mean, upstairs. the thing is that uh, they so worked really hard have, uh, on the Warden skin. To come into for honor. They probably just made up for players. They can try it on Or this Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper skin. Um, it, two skins. I'm okay with it. Makes yes. everybody happy. I, I believe I believe you had a Where is J C yeah. my Where's... my team did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the I JC. team uh, really went and they remade this armor. Uh, so a lot of the pieces they had to add on to it. Things like the bracer with the uh Why the, the textures look so bad? <laughs> I look like bit, a uh, I'm looking at a uh, PS2 game. <laughs> in the style of this game. Um, and we textured everything. Oh my god. The face is original. I also uh, blame the, the French. Are original. Unreal. They're all based off of things that were in Assassin's Creed. And we're really very proud of how it turned out. Yeah, I think this is the Hest and the Dist that uh Ezio has ever ever been. Uh, that looks a little um, bit better. The so face it's, it's looks really better cool here. To see, in the um, trailer, it looked a little bit weird. In yeah. Look, it's PS2 uh, Exio. So for, uh, for me, <laughs> I really wanted for the player to feel like uh, they're experiencing um, uh, Ezio like we always have in, uh, in uh, Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So it was mad. really to uh, investigate the, um, how it was they uh, already reworked game. Peacekeeper, so okay. I, make, uh, I watch a lot of references of the old game and the... Um, and we Whoa. talk about the, with the mocap actor um, that worked on Assassin's Creed before, and we come to the conclusion that the best thing to change was the navigation. So, like all new character, we went to mocap. We shoot some uh, new animation. Uh, Dude, look at this boy! He's swaying his hips like crazy. 
Um, uh, so Dude, that kind of the, the he's like shaking the booty. To, uh, he's shaking that booty. Yeah, damn, dude. And merge them together because uh, we keep in. Okay, I like his voice lines so far. Like we see here, so it's staying the same. So uh, everything's gonna be uh, uh, the same for <laughs> oh him, my God. except for the drop attack. So the drop attack is gonna be unique to him. You got great drip though, uh, if I say so myself. Forever, like we can see here. Okay, that's sick. Cool with a blade. That is super so, uh, sick. It's very fun. And uh, a new thing too very is the cool. Assassin's Creed 2 animation style was like a bit old, so it was a very uh, hard challenge to like. He got a better freaking walking with our motion animation than system. Peacekeeper. I'll tell so you what. I think we did a pretty good job with it. He got some. Um, the next thing that we he got some swag. Was, uh, <laughs> some unique execution, emote, and signature. Swag, um, baby. Just a lot of hand position, contact, and we add a little uh, as you uh, feeling to them as well. Uh, thanks to Michelle for the <laughs> Exio Fan Boy. And, uh, That's what for, we're talking uh, for about. Us, it was our first uh, gender swap hero skin, so I think uh, we did a pretty good job with that. And I'm yeah, really ass on you, right? To, uh, <laughs> Looks phenomenal, and just like uh, so, like Assassin's Creed Two is the first. Honor will be like I, Fortnite. Like, yes. With Ubisoft, way back. When then. are they gonna? When are and you gonna so add Thanos? Nice and then, uh, like all hero skins, you'll be able to change the color and material. However, there is a color that is the default color for the skin. Okay. It is specific <gasps> to Ezio. So this is also kind okay. of like a first for cool. us. So good, good, um, good. We if, need more if customization you want the options. white and the red in, their, in those specific hues, that is only available is berserker, to yes. the Ezio skin. Uh, so even if you buy the skin on Peacekeeper, that uh, that color I think that's uh, silver. And in those specific that looks hues silver. will only Old. be there on the Ezio uh, hero skin. And so uh, they, they look really great, and it's a nice way for us to make sure that the skin always has that, that unique thing that is only there Ooh. for it. Um, and, but yeah, be Colors sure to check out the skin because it crazy. drops next week. Uh, it'll be available for $14.99 I see that the cloth US itself does or, can't really uh, change to a, a very now, nice saturated Now, you've probably guessed it by now, but the throwback palette. event is it's a very uh, is, light change you know, it's for the creed i think Assassin's i think a lot of people are going to buy this skin uh, panda a lot world of people of and there's Assassin's tons of assassin's creed, creed fans out there and, and they want to play as a male peacekeeper that, he's a getting he got new voice lines it's the biggest thing so you do feel like a new character uh, that's so this will be for the first 22 heroes in the Zestios. game so that's a good name i like that i'm gonna use that why can't my men just be masculine these days huh from the first time why do they have to be why do they need so to be now, zesty? Let's take a look at by Ed. Us Dom yeah, players are gonna eat around, eat good tonight, also, baby. We're gonna eat good. For joining me today. All right, let's look at it. Let's look at it. Ah, dude, I'm so sick. Reaction time, guys. Reaction video. In my thumbnail, I'm gonna have my mouth open really wide. That's great. I think the warden skin looks sick. Centurion, amazing. Uh, the glider one. I can't wait to get this up because I really like this one because specifically you can just this thing is just like a nice, nice clean color. I hope we can change the color on this. DP's oh dude that's all that's all that's all uh chainmail. Holy crap! That's good. I mean Griffin looks sick. There's no there's no doubt about that. They're dripping. Oh my god, dude, that looks so clean! That's a clean lawbringer set. Sheesh! Um Uh I I mean I it's it might be okay. This might be okay. It's it's got chainmail. Whoa! Dude, she's dripped out of her mind. Peacekeeper dripped out of dude. I love the helmet. Dude, that hood is gonna be so sick. This kind of looks like that doesn't look like full plate armor. That looks weird. I mean, Warmonger, she's already dripped out of her mind too. This kind of mid, in my opinion, compared to the rest of her. But we'll see what happens. Cause this is kind of like her default outfit. Ugh, what is this? All right, I'm gonna barf. I'm gonna barf. <laughs> I think this. I think. I think the night skins might save for honor. <laughs> Okay, I hope we can change the this tan color. Is that Highlander's actual skin? Holy shit. Man is nerding out. Looks like trunks. <laughs> okay, Yormion is okay. Rangan. That looks that exact that looks the same thing as her default outfit. I don't think anything's changed. Uh Warlord. I, I wanna see what we can do with the colors. I don't know. Holy crap! Melf? Shaman? Yes, please. Sign me up. Melf Shaman might just save for honor. That looks really similar. Valkyrie's one looks kind of similar. Holy crap. Did you, the, did you see the gray hairs? The white lines on Shaman? Oh my god. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out right now. I'll tell you what. 
Yeah, damn. This a is the gimme flag for the defender team. Quite severely off balance. This is the gimme flag for the and attacker. And so it wasn't a question of moving the spawner closer or further because then I would mess up my balance. This might just be characters. not rendered. This might so not be I rendered. Had to the rails. Come up with some we'll have to see. Tricks. So as I mean, the guys are just so fine. The defender team from match start has to. They're not in the middle of the point. That's all that matters. The guys. Oh my god! There's no rails. Then, uh, get their foot <laughs> inside capture zone A. So that kind of adds a few Ooh, extra milliseconds. All right. You know, I mean. So we're trying to be as precise well, as possible. What are we good tonight? The other thing we did we are here was we Ledge uh, central, elongated dude. the capture zone here. So it's much wider than Ledge it was central. even in a uh, past event. Kind here, of like a uh, small hole, but like not a, and the entire freaking cliff. A trap and the other reason charge. why, so, you know, sure. the, when the geysers are uh, erupting, it kind of cuts that line. I'm of erupting right now. So <laughs> hey, yo, just kidding. Can, can we just, can we add an earthquake mechanic? And sometimes you have open lines of sight in certain Screen shake for every player. And so this is actually going to be our first dominion map with a roof over your over the minion lane oh all right yeah so you're gonna have to choose your feats oh so you can't can't be oh. storming in there and right yeah that's, that's, that's a good point that's a cool exactly. balance idea exactly. yeah. well played. and Shake there's also a bridge now <laughs> that uh that players can take to navigate Shit. between capture zones a and you c running you know, I, I I removed all the geysers because I'm like, all right, we don't really need them. The the, the bridge there. It's this kind of the <laughs> so long you say uh, there's only one the team work. There's only one person uh, so doing maps, one person doing balance. That's why it takes fucking months. There, since uh, it's a <laughs> narrower oh my God. than other maps, so if like I did all this, <laughs> you like attacking the 25th now. is when it's coming. So Ooh. so uh yeah. Quite a bit of work went Can we there. just skip it? Shout out to Emily, <laughs> Emily. again in the Thank back. Thank you, Emily. Yeah, she she did a great job. Uh, it was, uh, again, a learning exercise for us because mm -hmm. we had kind of lost some of this knowledge. And uh, Felix as well, our tech designer, uh, they kind of had to retro engineer, you know, how to how to make these sure. Uh, sure. happen. We Can you also remove forward. cinematics? Because I'd like to remove for I, I Sentinel. Really hope the players enjoy. That'd be great. I, so Every okay, person just press start, work. and if we get like four votes, and, uh, shout out to everybody else on the team. Can it just like skip <laughs> the intro? Thank you all so much. Uh, vote to skip, cathedral. please. That's it's because a lot of people left Moonlight. We're gonna have JC himself on the couch to talk about patch notes, balancing. Okay, is JC's jacket so gonna be there though? JC's jacket gonna be there? If he changes jackets on us, I'm gonna be devastated. I'm actually gonna be devastated. Oh, they're adding the. Oh my god, I'm about to bust. They add the the OG for honor music. I'm about to bust. I'm busting. <laughs> I'm definitely not ready for the mead, <laughs> the great hall. <laughs> yeah, can we just remove Sentinel though? I'm okay with removing Sentinel. Maps limited. No, no, no. The maps are staying. These are these are maps that are staying. When for honor dies, I will die. I promise. That's a, that's a solid soul guarantee. That is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning into the stream as well on YouTube and Twitch. I do stream there about two or three times a week, so I appreciate you guys stopping on by and just hanging out with me, playing for honor, attacking, and all that good stuff. What do you think of the changes? What do you guys think about Zestio and the armor sets? I love the armor sets. Really great. I'm so excited for the new map. It's going to be awesome. It's going to gonna be a breath of fresh air. I just hope it's uh, going to be balanced. Uh, it does. It's just visually appealing, so I think that's the best thing. Uh, I also hope that one day we get the free-for-all map and put into the dual rotations or at least custom games. That'd be awesome sauce. Everything is just, you know, there's a lot of good stuff happening right now. We're, we're eating good. Us for honor players, we are so back right now. The Warden, uh, the entire Warden rework is it's pretty crazy, man. I, I'm, I'm super excited for it. I think it looks sick, uh, but I'm hoping to get my hands on it eventually. I don't even think it needs a testing ground. It needs to be shipped out right now. ASAP, baby. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below, please. Thank you very much. And the box is gonna go to bed now, all right? And if you haven't checked out my recent video, I did do a list of every single nerf and buff that we do need uh, for every character. So go and check that out on the previous video. But that'll be it for me. Bye-bye. See you later.